Hey, what's up, Square Bears? It's your girl, Chris, and welcome to Beauty MC Squared. All right, so I'm going to talk about this hair because I know you guys are going to be asking me, okay? Mm -hmm. This is from OX.com. Of course, this is not the original color that the unit was. I received this unit a long, long time ago, you guys. Uh, i am just been playing catch up for the last... I don't even know how long I'm going to be doing some catch-up, but I have lots of catching up to do with you guys because I've had this unit for a very long time. And, um, you know, life gets in the way. You know, okay, Sarah, you make plans to do certain things, and it just doesn't work out that way. But um, nevertheless, um, I had some fun coloring this unit because I wanted to get back to, you know, my purpleness, um and really try out some fun colors. I've never uh, dealt with O-Wigs before, so I was really excited uh, when they reached out to me to review. And uh, I'll just show you a picture, you guys, of how the unit came colored. It is silky straight in the texture. The size of the cap is one, and um, I think it was 20 inches long when I received it. It had like a little bit of a haircut going to it, but I, I went into it myself and razor cut it. Oh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna be playing with this hair for a long, long time. Yeah. I'm gonna be playing with this hair, which is fine because, you know, this is a review. I want you guys to kind of see how it looks and how it moves. It's a glueless cap, but you guys already see that on the side of the screen that it's glueless. But yeah, what I did was I went ahead and bleached it. I bleached it, bleached it, bleached it. And uh, because it was silky straight, it, it was kind of thin to me. Um, so um, I'm getting into this whole adding tracks to a wig kind of thing. Since I know that there's a way for you to do it safely, I've been doing it crazy. I like big hair, big, big luscious, um, sometimes gravity-defined hair, sometimes, you know, um, unorthodox sort of colors to the hair. I don't like regular hair too much. Um, so I had to add some, some tracks to it. The hair that I added was actually some hair that I received from um, Love & Hair. I don't know if it's Love and Hair Extensions or Love and Hair Imports. Um, I will have the correct name. I'm so sorry I'm butchering it. But I will have the correct name here, and I will have it in the information bar below. Um, I received some hair from them a while ago as well and um, tested some hair out, and, you know, it was what it was. I did use the hair to kind of add a little bit more off to it. And so what I did was I went ahead and bleached out this wig, bleached it, bleached it, bleached it, bleached it out until it can get as high as it safely can get to without me over processing it. I went through some trial and error with actually adding the purple color to it because what I wanted to do was add this like gorgeous kind of wild orchid um, color to like the, the crown area and down at the bottom and then panel like hot pink or soft pink right in the the middle and I uh, tried out a product called Pravana Color and uh, I, I didn't follow directions. I did exactly what I tell you guys not to do and I did not follow the directions and so I added developer and, and that's the type of semi-permanent where adding developer will actually make it not work at all. Um, I usually add developer to my semi-permanents. This right here is actually a door. Um, and it usually works out fine, but obviously with Pravana, it just makes it like oil and water. It literally made the products not even penetrate or stick to the hair. So when I rinsed out the product after it processed for a very long time, it literally just washed out of the hair. And it was kind of like a slight tint of the color that I was attempting to add on. So anyway, I went back to the drawing board, went back to something that I was familiar with hit myself on the hand for, you know, not listening or not reading directions. And I just went with the old, you know, tried and true Adore. And so the Adore hair color that you see right here is actually a mixture, um, a mixture a little bit of the African Violet with um, Purple Rage. And so I'm gonna call this my conservative kind of fairy hair because it's not quite as shocking, shocking and as bold and um, out there as the first purple hair that I did. Um, this is a little bit more toned down and so Sometimes it looks more like eggplanty with a little bit of fuchsia in it. 
Um, sometimes it looks really, really bright purple just depending on what light we're, we're working with. So I'm really, really happy with this mistake <laughs> that I made. In terms of O wigs, I mean, uh, generally I didn't really have a bad experience. The only thing that I could say is when I received the wig, like the the bleaching or the highlighting job that they did, in my opinion, was kind of like all over the place. There were some areas where there was huge chunks of light color, and then there were some areas of the wig where it was like streaks of color. So it was like highlights over here and then like a chunk panel of, you know, lighter brown or um, dark blonde and stuff. It was just kind of weird how the color placement was. So I wasn't really impressed by the color placement. Um, another thing that I can say about my O wigs wig unit is, I mean, it, it was silky straight. So like I said, with silky straight hair, usually it reads very flat to me. Um, so I did have to add more hair to it just to make it look more fuller. And in my opinion, to make it look more realistic I guess <laughs> um, I do like the natural parting of the wig I don't have it glued down this is glueless um, I like the natural parting it looks very very natural I didn't go into the part and squeeze it and open it up to um, you know make it do what it's what it do I might do that later but um, I didn't have to do that I'm going to go ahead and pan in a little bit closer so that you guys can kind of see the part. Um, I literally just slapped this on my head so it's attached like that. Um, nothing fancy going on but I just want you guys to kind of see the part closely. All right and you know the density of it all. Really really pretty. It's really really pretty. As you can see I really really love the hair you know the hair is really really pretty it does curl well it does hold a curl very well I added um, I use very minimal heat to it I took like random sections of hair and kind of barrel curled it I didn't have to like you know take really small sections to bring a lot of volume to it so I thought that was really nice I like the way the love and hair extensions blended in really well with the silky straight because the natural texture of the love and hair extensions was a wave it was um, not quite a curl but it was between a curl and a wave so it had a nice um, texture but I noticed that when you bleach the hair or if you color the hair adding peroxide adding you know bleach ammonia whatever it it kind of straightens the hair a little bit it relaxes the curl too so um what used to be very wavy hair kind of like uh turn into a really relaxed wave and so it blended in with the silky straight hair very lovely i also noticed that when i wet the wig down after i um, washed the hair after the first bleaching process, the first and the second bleaching process. Although it's silky straight, it does have a very relaxed, natural wave to it, which I thought was really nice, you know. Um, the hair is a really, really superior quality. Like I said, the only complaints that I only, that I have about the old wigs um, unit was the, the color placement and, and whoever did the highlighting and, and all that. I just didn't get it. It didn't make much sense to me. And it didn't look really, really pretty to me when I wore it like that. So um, soon after I tried on the wig, I just knew that I was going to do something and color it. And as soon as I discovered that you can actually, uh, you know, bleach hair that's already been previously bleached or bleach hair that's not virgin hair, um, I just went crazy. So um, I had a lot of fun doing this hair. I absolutely love it. I implore you guys to check out oldwigs.com. Um, they have really nice prices, very high quality um, lace units. If you guys are adventurous like me, what I would do is I probably would just like order an in-stock unit that just has like a natural color and then just go crazy and customize it yourself. Um, I'm all for adding extensions to it. Um, I noticed that after I add extensions to it, it fits even better. It fits even more snug to my head. Um, I have, sh like, I cut my hair off, so it, it feels really nice and secure on my head, and I don't have it glued on or anything. I don't have any braids. I have a regular, like, do-rag scarf under here, and it's fine. The last thing I want to say is I did receive some wefted hair from oldwigs.com, and it was in a light blonde. And um, I just did some really fun red coloring to it and um, just did kind of a... A uh, quick weave installation on my sister because I know that she's a redhead. I'm the purple head. She's a redhead. Um, and I just had some really um, good fun with it. So what I did was I painted it, the majority of the hair red.
had I added this gorgeous semi-permanent um, hair color from Adore of course I mixed a little bit of express hair color as well with it um, and we just had lots and lots of fun creating this beautiful bodacious creation you know my sister is fire what we did was we left the ends the natural blonde and I just thought that was a really fun kind of you know ombre um, effect to like very six straight conservative kind of hairstyle I guess and that was totally my sister's idea she was like I want my hair red but I want it to be like blonde at the end so I was like oh that's it's gonna look like fire girl and it did so um yeah uh that's all for the review definitely check out owigs.com you guys if you guys are interested I hope you guys learned a lot from this review um love my hair you guys love my hair of course I have a tutorial on this look <laughs> I do have a tutorial on this look. I'm getting better, you guys, so stick with me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.